This is mainly going to be over the electric of the Stegon wrench, or winch, 3,000 pounds. On the wiring, the instructions are horrible. They don't hardly tell you anything. One thing I did find out, when you're putting this plate here on, because I just took these out of the box, you got um, six of these big long bolts and two little short bolts that I put down in here. And the reason I put the short bolts in there is because the big long ones would stick up to here and I could see where the rope would ride against it and it would shred and tear that up. There's not much room and clearance there. But it just doesn't seem right with the big bolts sticking out like that. But that's the only way I seen it. So I clamp this down. This right here pulls out and locks in place a little pin so this can be free willing. You can just run it out off and on however you want. Then you push it back in to turn it. But it comes with this pack of bolts here. You got a couple little ones in there and they go to this on and off switch that can bolts to here and this bolts to your handlebar if that's the way you hook it up. And this is your transformer but it's already wired and got this, got this piece here that plugs in to this part here to make it uh, so you're not using your changer. This here is to hands free on and off, you hold it down till this lights up red, and then you can go out or in, which I'll do in a minute when I get this connected. But it's very simple. You've got a, you've got blue here, so your blue wire will hook onto it, and you got yellow, and your yellow hooks onto it, and then your battery is red and black. And it should be pretty simple as far as connecting it all. So with your transformer here, with your transformer, your blue wire goes over here to the blue. Blue wire to blue. Tell you as you get older, simple things just like holding these little bolts and screws is a pain anymore. Years ago they were nothing. Now little these little things cause me more trouble. But the blue goes on the blue, and the yellow goes on the yellow, which is very simple. And then your, your on and off switch, if you want to control it manually, it just plugs into this power box, power cord, snaps in together. Now on this part here, this red wire, which also hooks to your positive on your battery, it didn't come with anything on it. 
I had to, these wires are so little and thin, I had to turn, take the wire and double it just to crimp and get it to hold. But for these to go onto a battery, they're way too, way too small. And to drill them out, there'd be nothing left. So what I did is I put washers on here to, hold, to just hold them in place. But naturally, your black go, your black will go. On the, on the negative side. This is temporarily and I'm just pinching them down. And you're red to positive. I've just got washers. Like I said, I'm going to pinch them down in place because this is temporary. And this here has to also be put in there and pinched together on the positive side. So that should be that should be all it is. So this is your on and off. This is for out. This is for in. And then with your remote control. You hold both buttons down, it turns red. This, should, this is out. This is back in. So that's all it's to, it's for hooking it up. Blue on your blue terminal, yellow on your yellow terminal. This on and off switch here, manual, just snaps and hooks into here. The little red wire and your red cable wire goes to your positive and your black goes to your negative. I plan on using this to help pull my boat in here because I'm getting up there to where it's too hard pushing this 2,000 pound boat and trailer in here by myself. So this is a simple, simple electric hookup, or some of them seems pretty complicated, but the book doesn't, doesn't really tell you or show you much. 3,000 pound winch.